What I want to do today is connect our Dropbox and Google Drive so that whenever we upload a new file onto Dropbox, it will also automatically be uploaded into our Google Drive account. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Dropbox to trigger the creation of a file in Google Drive, I'll need to use Dropbox as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New File and Folder as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Dropbox sees I've created a new file, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Dropbox, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Dropbox account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger app's data. Choose the folder you'd like to use for your Zap and then click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Google Drive into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Upload File and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Drive with Zapier, just like I did with my Dropbox account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, choose the folder you'd like to upload your file to. I'll select Zapier Posts. Next, under File, choose File and then click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we upload a new file into our Dropbox account, the file will be automatically uploaded into our Google Drive as well. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.